predators are often the most important category of biological control organisms in rice, as each predator consumes a large amount of prey over the course of its life. They are by far the most visible and are frequently confused for pests. Predators can be found practically anywhere in the rice ecosystem. Some spiders, lady beetles, and carabid beetles hunt for prey such as leaf hoppers, plant hoppers, moths, and stem borer and defoliating caterpillar larvae on plants. Spiders prefer moving prey, but some are known to prey on insect eggs. Many spider species only prey at night. Others weave webs and collect whatever comes in during the day or night. Insect eggs are preferred by many beetles, predatory grasshoppers, and crickets. It's not uncommon for predators to ingest 80-90% of the eggs of certain insect pests. Each day, an adult wolf spider may attack and eat 5-15 brown plant hoppers. Most predators attack insect pests in their juvenile and adult phases. Each predator need a large number of preys to develop. Six water bugs and other predators live on the surface of the rice field's water. When insect pests including hoppers, stem borer larvae, and leaf folders try to spread, many fall on the water surface. They are preyed upon by water bugs and other predators. When other food sources become scarce, predators will often attack other helpful species. Predators, on the other hand, generally prey on species that are abundant in large numbers, such as pests. It's critical to recognize that a few insect pests exist at levels that do little economic harm and assist provide food for beneficial species populations at levels that prevent detrimental pest outbreaks. It is extremely expensive to breed predators in large numbers for release in rice fields. Each farmer's land already has a large number of predators. To protect predators, use broad-spectrum insecticides sparingly or administer selectively lethal insecticides to pests but not predators.